a critical focus, JB. All Tyron Taylor with the pressure. Tyron Taylor here, man. We're here at the facility, the Champion Center, where the Colorado Buffaloes play, man. And yeah, man, I'm gonna take y'all inside, give y'all the inside scoop, and the looks of everything, the practice field, the training room, the locker room, and everything like that. So yeah, man, let's get to it. Yeah. We're here at the team store. As soon as you walk in the double doors, and we're gonna take y'all through this. How you doing today, man? Good, how are you, man? I'm good, man, chilling. Yeah. <clears throat> what brings you in? Uh, I'm doing a YouTube video, man, so I'm just showing them around the facilities. Nice. Yes, sir. What's your name, bro? Ethan. I'm Tyron. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm -mm -mm. I don't understand. Come get you a teddy bear for your daughter, your son, somebody. Da -da -da -da. We need to bring these back. Maybe Coach Prime will do it. Maybe he won't. <laughs> you got hats. A lot of them, a lot of options, book bags, hoodies, Ralphie socks, chip socks, cups, everything you want, man, it's in here. Uh, 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 uh. Got jackets. Yeah, man, first stop when you walk in the double doors. All right, bro, have a good day. You too, man. Appreciate you. All right, man, another aspect we got when you walk in is this huge screen right here. As you can see, Coach Prime is up there. Got some basketball highlights, football highlights. Let's show every sport, man. IPF is in there. We're gonna show y'all that in a little later. Got my boy right here, Ralphie, man. Two Ralphies, actually. And let's get started, man. As you can see, the IPF is behind us. Uh, we got our Legacy Hall. Got the Heisman down here, the Jim Thorpe. Things like that. All Americans right here. The latest one was Nate Lamon. I played with him my freshman year. Uh, uh, uh. A lot of trophies, man. Uh, you actually, on the screen, you can play a game. <laughs> this is the award right here, man. If you a DB, you know what that is. I don't really gotta say too much. Rashawn Salam, man. <sighs> yeah. Brick by brick. Some of our red letter games that we won in the past, man. Looking to add some more this year, actually. TCU, Nebraska, or whatnot. Head coaches. Coach Prime right here. Coach McCartney, man. We surrounded by greatness. Surrounded by greatness, man. Ugh. We got a quote right here that you should remember. The pride and tradition of the Colorado Buffaloes are not being trusted to the timid of the week. My boy Philip Lindsay up here, man. Nobody can stop you but you. Got some quotes. Some elevators right there to go upstairs. 194 days, man. Aaron G. Carter Stadium. You better be there. <laughs> you better be there. All right, man, right now we're going into the weight room where you get big at, you know what I mean? I'm 6'4", 265 right now, but... Stop the cap! <laughs> it's time, baby. Uh, uh, uh. But yeah, we got uh, some of our pool options over here. We got our pit sharks for people who can't squat. Med balls, dumbbells. We got our racks over here, man. Get right in here. Off the rack. Oh. Ready. Oh. Oh. But yeah, man. IPF. I'm going to show y'all that after this. Uh -uh. But yeah, man. Where else would you want to be, man? Coach Prime. Yeah. Assembled the best staff in the nation. We're here getting right, man. We're here getting big. But the best part about it is, as soon as you get done, let that. Put your shoes on, put your cleans on. We're not here to the IPI. Let's get that work. Man. Where else would you want to go, man? Where else would you want to go, man? It's 
Surrounded by greatness, as you can see, Jimmy Smith, David Bakhtari, Jadobia Woolsey, Philip Lindsay, Michael Westbrook, Alfred Williams. It's beautiful out here, man. I don't know where else would you want to be. We got my boy Ralphie in the middle of the field. Yeah. Don't step on Ralphie either. Never do that unless we're practicing. Got my boy Cristiano over there kicking. What up, boy? Yeah, man. Beautiful place. Beautiful place. Huge ceiling for the punters, man. <sighs> Got the bikes back there. You really don't want to get on the bikes. That's if you're injured. Never be injured because that bike workout is worse than the workouts we do. Wouldn't lie to y'all. Because Prime got a bike over there. I didn't even see that. I ain't gonna get on the duck because I don't want to get in trouble, you know what I mean? Got our scales over here, man. Weigh in every Monday and Thursday. Actually, I'm actually gonna grab me a snack just to show y'all we got snacks in here. Uh, uh, uh. We got new upgrades coming to our fueling station in here as well. It says it's coming October 15th, but if you take a peek in here. <laughs> I think it'll be here by summertime, if you ask me. We'll see though. Coach Prime. Got my boy Rob up here, man, who played with us last year. Yeah, man. We're gonna be getting big. Come over here, grab some snacks, man. Uh, 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 uh. Grab me a yogurt, but I don't see any spoons, so I'm not gonna do that. Go grab me a protein shake. Some peanut butter and jelly. My boy Wes behind the camera, man. You want anything from the, from the fueling station, man? You good? All right, let's get it. After you get done working out, you can grab you some snacks on the way out, man. And then shout out to Kobe, our nutritionist, Kobe Wolf. She has uh, like vitamin D, protein shakes, Gatorade, and everything up here for us, man. So we can get right every day. Now we're going into the training room uh, for the rehab guys. It's important for them, but even if you're not in a rehab group, you know what I mean, you can go in the training room before practice, after practice, before workouts, after workouts, and get your body right, man. So, it's actually locked right now, but you can still see it from right here. We got the tubs, man, cold and hot, as y'all can see there. And then through those glasses right here, uh, that's the training room in there, man. Ain't really too much to show y'all, but training room is really important if you want to be a good athlete. And then we come out here. We got our uniform combinations so far. We got something else on the way too, man, but uh, these are the ones for sure right now. We got our hallway to get to the game field, Folsom. I'm gonna show y'all that after this locker room, man. Just look at the beautiful entrance. I'm gonna get out the way. Let's do it. Before we go in the locker room though, we got our NFL hall. I touch this sign every time I walk through here. Uh, before practice, workouts, we got uh, current and former buffs in the NFL. Philip Lindsay right there, Rick K. Don't know who Rick K is, but he, <laughs> he made it and paved the way for us. We got our ring hall in here, man. <sighs> National champions. Got a few rings, man, but it's not enough. I think we need about three or four more in the next three or four years. So let's get it, man. Now, this is the locker room. Let's do it. In the middle of the locker room, man, I'm gonna show y'all where our locker is. As you can see, it's beautiful in here. A lot of space. A lot of arguments go down in here as well, man. Oh, I'm better than you at Madden. Oh, I'm better than you at Madden. Well, I'm better than you in real life. Well, I'm better than you in 2K. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna show y'all the locker and the inside because it's a little dirty right now. That's how I am. When I come in here, I just <laughs> get up out of here. But yeah, Tyron Taylor, man. Charlotte, North Carolina. You know what I mean? Got a few things in here. Got my game cleats in there, man. Some shoes, some workout shoes. Gotta have the Metcons in there, man. Then when it's an upper body day, when I wanna feel a little taller than everybody, gotta put on those. That's what I wore last year in the games. Home games, not away. Away game, we got white cleats, which I actually brought with me. Uh -uh. 
away, away cleats, man. So, yeah, you come to Colorado, many options, many opportunities. It's just what you do with those opportunities, man. DBs in this area. And then this is where you grab your loop to go work out in. Equipment room is back here as well. But they're closed right now. Mm -mm -mm. My boy Luke in there, Smitty. You know what I mean? They do a good job of getting those right. And I'm gonna show y'all my locker. Cubby number 40. Let me see if I can open it for y'all. First try. Yep. Nothing in there right now, but that's how we do it, man. Now, this is the doors we lead to for game day. We have it jumping. Let's go. You look good, you feel good, you feel good, you play good, you play good, they pay good. Ooh! Man, I'm on Folsom, man. This brings me back to game days. But yeah, I really don't got to say too much. You can just look out here, man. Tell how beautiful it is. Woo! Can't wait, man. First home game against Nebraska. Red letter game. Yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful sighting, man. Where else would you wanna play though? We got the mountains in the back. Jumbotron. All right, man. In the student section. This is where our benches are set up. The DBs would be like right here. Linebackers, D-line. And they get rocking in here, man. You got to tell the people, stop touching your back. And hey, good play, Tyrant. Let's go, man. Keep that same energy. You know what I mean? But it's always good energy in the student section, man. And most importantly, it's always good energy in Folsom, man. So yeah, can't wait to be back out here in September. That's all I'm going to say, man. Just left the game field, Folsom field, the best field in the nation. I'm going upstairs now to show you guys the meeting rooms. Uh, and where we eat at, and then hopefully we can get to the suite. And I can show you guys on top of the whole champion center, man. So let's get to it. Got a trophy in here. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? Good. Yes, sir. Yep, yep. <laughs> Play it on a Sunday, right? Yes, sir. All right. Uh -uh. Got our meeting room. I'm going to show you guys where the safeties meet at. Oh, Coach Kelly, what are we doing today, man? Yeah. This is my seat right here. Got to sit closer to the coach because I ask the most questions. Even if I think I know it, I probably don't. So, hey, coach, huh? On play three right there, man. What did we do that was wrong? You know, what, what was the communication on that? So, yeah, man. We got our defensive philosophy right here. Can't show you guys that, but yeah, man. I'm going to sign my name on here. Give y'all a little autograph or whatnot. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, worth a lot of money one day. <laughs> oh! Oh, show him this. <laughs> Yours truly. Yours truly. <laughs> uh, Alright, uh... Coach Prime's philosophy for the meeting room, man. No earrings, no hats, no phones, no food or drinks. <sighs> Team meeting room, man. Yeah. This is where coaches come and talk to us at. Um, no, DBs are in that section up there. A lot of DBs, we got a uh, split down the middle, defense on this side, offense on this side, D-line, linebackers, DBs, quarterbacks, running backs, O-line, dot, dot, dot. And yeah, man, coach will sit right here and be like, man, we played really hard Saturday. You know what I mean? And those guys couldn't take it. 
Uh, we physically dominated, you know what I mean? And yeah, but yeah, team meeting room where the business goes down. Got some notepads. People try to use their iPod, iPads in here that they give us. And if you write it down, you'll remember it better. It's scientifically proven. Don't ask me who proved it, but it's scientifically proven. We don't mess with the ops, but I'll show y'all how big that room is compared to our safety room. For what though, like y'all? Whatever though, I'm gonna show y'all where we eat at now. Beautiful view of Folsom, actually, in the mountains up here, the Wall of Champions. One of my favorite on here is uh, 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 who I grew up watching. John C. B. Man. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this is where we eat at. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Throw on this. Shout out to Kobe. Got some uh, beetroot powder right here, man. It stimulates your white blood cells or something like that for the altitude. Got a smoothie bar back here. Doo doo. And the pasta bar. You have to get a pasta every time. Monday through Friday at lunch, you gotta get a pasta. Uh, chicken, Parmesan, onions, spinach, marinara, and Alfredo. Best one right there. I'm gonna be quiet and just let y'all see it. See the mountains? <laughs> Coach's office up there. Coach Prime. Coach Kelly. Coach Dancy. Coach Hart. Everybody, man. Got our practice fields out there. We're in Dow Ward right now, like the student academic uh, center. Of it. It's like the academics. This is the entertainment room. It's really the nap room. We come in here and take naps before classes, right after workouts. My favorite couch, by the way. Ugh. Is this one right here? You can't beat this couch. I cut the TV off. I don't want to hear nothing. Sometimes you got your teammates in here walking in on the phone. We like, bro, we trying to take a nap. And he's like, hey man, I'm trying to win $10 on this bet. I'm like, bro, we can't, we gotta sleep. TVs everywhere. We get our hair cut over here. Another TV, TV, TV. Pac-Man machine. If you know what that is, if you know, you know. Just got my hair cut in here the other day. Shout out my boy, Matt. Smart, tough, fast, discipline with character. That's coaches, uh, his recruiting outlook on how he tried to find his players. Got our bathrooms and our showers in there. I don't want to show you guys that. Might have some teammates in there. Some of the lockers, offense, defense. All right, guys, now we're on the away side of the stadium. I uh, got a couple questions from y'all the past two or three weeks, and uh, we're going to do a Q&A, so let's get right down to it. What was your recruiting journey from high school to college like? Uh, I, really, I really wasn't getting no offers freshman year or sophomore year. Uh, a couple of my peers were, a couple of my teammates was, Evan Pryor, Mario Love, the other corner on the opposite side of me, so it was kind of tough. I was like, okay, everybody's down me, so now I got something to work hard for, something to prove, you know what I mean? So going into my junior year, had the season that I wanted to. And then uh, I had posted a workout video just showing my hips and my feet working uh, of me high, high pointing the ball and stuff like that. And uh, that blew up. So a couple weeks after that, I had, uh, my first offer was Kent State. And then after I posted the video, it just blew up, boom, boom. And then uh, I think I finished with like 20 or something like that. And then what made me come to Colorado was uh, one of the coaches here my freshman year. We had a, a good relationship, and then I also liked the head coach and the coaching staff, the strength staff and stuff like that. And I felt like this was the place that could develop me. Another question from uh, my aunt, Uncle Mike. 
What was the best football team you played on? Uh, I really don't look at it like that. I feel like every year is a new year and a new challenge with a new team, you know what I mean? And you got to gel together and have the season that you want. But my most memorable moment was when I won the championship when I was nine years old. Uh, the prep New Birth Eagles. Uh, shout out Coach Buck, shout out Coach Bell, man. Yeah. Uh, is it true you used to play quarterback? It is true. Not on a high level, though. I was, it was Little League. I can still throw, though. I can throw probably from end zone to end zone or something like that. Nothing too much, like Patrick Mahomes or anything like that. But, yeah, I used to play quarterback. I always wanted to run, though. My coach used to say, uh, you can go down there and call the plays. I was a smart quarterback at nine years old. I wonder where I would be now if I still played quarterback. But, yeah, used to play quarterback, man. Still got an arm. I don't know. Yeah, I like DB better, though. All right, another question from uh, one of the YouTube comments. What is it like with Coach Prime and the new staff? I would say it's a blessing. Uh, it was a blessing in disguise, you know, being 1-11 last year because, you know, we could have transferred out or, you know, did something like that. But, you know, Coach Prime actually accepted the job, and it was huge for us. Uh, it was something we weren't used to, after, especially my two years. I know a lot of the senior players and the older players before me they had different staffs every year, every two years, you know, and stuff like that. And I feel like the staff we got now with Coach Prime, man, this staff would be here for a minute, you know what I mean? Because we're developing greatness every single day with the strength staff, you know, the coaches, the player personnel, the assistants, and everything like that. So just stay tuned, man. It'll be a beautiful year with those guys. Are these guys on the team? And if so, why are they not practicing with the other players, especially their receivers? They're not getting familiar, ready with Shador. Uh, yes, we're on the team. That's why we're working out. And uh, I mean, those guys work out without us as well. You know, uh, we're getting some work with those, some of those guys today, though. Uh, stay tuned for that in my buddy, my buddy J-Mac video. But yeah, man, we work out with those guys during the week a lot. We just don't record as much as we would like to, like during the week, you know what I mean? So we'll try to get more footage for y'all with that. Uh, we'll be around Shador, some of our receivers, you know what I mean? So you'll get to see everybody on the YouTube. How do you guys feel about the spring black and game being sold out? We're excited, actually. Uh, I feel like I don't know what team I'm going to be on or, you know, how they're going to split it up. But I feel like both teams are going to have some, you know, great players on both sides going at it. And, uh, yeah, we're going to put on a show for everybody, man. We're going to show you, show you guys exactly what the, the new style of the Colorado Buffaloes we'll be working with this year for the Pac-12, man. So we're excited about that. <clears throat> I'm confused. Do you weight train with the team? Why are you at a different gym? So the question for that is, we do weight train with the team. And then uh, sometimes I get an extra lift in to gain more mass and muscle in my body because I'm a skinny dude uh, later on in the day. And so the weight room has a time limit for when we can be in there because you have to have a coach in there at all times they, for safety reasons. So I, uh, I train with my buddy Austin, who's a tight end at a crunch gym, just because the weight room has a certain time period where it closes. Another question was, is it a difference between playing in high school and playing in college? And yeah, in high school, I feel like you can be the most athletic kid and stuff like that. And you know, you make a lot of plays, but when you come to college, especially the level that we're playing at, uh, Pac-12, it's a lot of guys that's athletic, you gotta put, you gotta be able to put all of it together though, being smart, athletic, strong, physical, you know what I mean? So I would say the difference is really just the film study aspect of the game. Like if you just think you can go out there and out athlete, you know, people, there's really some dudes out here. So you can't just do that. You know, you gotta watch film, you gotta prepare throughout the week and stuff like that. And then the, the speed of the game is way faster as well. High school, you know, games are like this, but we play NFL quarters, 15 minutes. So the speed of the game is, <laughs> especially if you're playing a team that's a like tempo style team, uh, like Arizona State, UCLA with a DTR and stuff like that. It gets tough out here, but you just put the work in and then see where it takes you. And that will conclude the tour of the facilities of everything. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe for me. We still going up, baby. Let's get it. My boy Wes behind the camera. Camo press. Make sure y'all get at him.